Well, there's a party in the Metro Parks this weekend, and you're all invited for free. Yeah, best of all, it's very close by for anybody who mm -hmm. uh, is a Cleveland resident in the Northeast Ohio area. We're calling, talking about the Backyard Nature Bash in today's Metro Parks Monday. So, Jake Aderna live from West Creek Reservation. Jake, good morning. You ready for the party? Good morning. Yeah, so uh, we actually, we're, we're all set for it. We've worked with a bunch of our partner organizations and we brought in uh, different bands for live music. Like Music is Groovy, based out of Parma Heights, which is really great with the kids. They'll be going on earlier in the day. Uh, it's gonna be from 10 to four, and then we have some other live music that's more family oriented into the afternoon. We've got food trucks. We have uh, the sewer districts here showing off our stream table, some cool activities that they do throughout the city. Uh, but we've also have some fun activities for the kids and the family to be able to learn about the organisms and things that you can attract to your yard or find in your yard. And a lot of times people think, oh, well, I don't really have frogs in my yard or I'm not gonna see an owl in my yard. But the stuff that you do create these little micro habitats that allow a lot of it to show up. And something as simple as putting in a backyard pond might attract frogs, which will lay eggs and you'll get tadpoles. And so uh, I've got, this is a gray tree frog tadpole. And I don't know how well you can see on camera there, but it's got kind of a, a reddish orange tail. It looks almost like it's got a little flame yeah. at the back end of its body. So cute. And so we can kind of pick up, yeah, we can pick up the ID on them. And you know, most people can't identify their tadpoles so well. So I can just pull out what it turns into. <laughs> nice big gray tree right. frog and the they climb up in trees and you'll hear them calling after rains like we've had today so uh, we'll be netting using some of our pond dip nets to get wet and find some of the different tadpoles and maybe some baby turtles that we find in the wetlands and uh, we can also see the different frogs are living there too but we don't want to forget about the uh, the underappreciated macro invertebrates and uh, for those that are watching at home and don't know what a macroinvertebrate is, it's a, a bug that's large enough for you to be able to see with your eyes. And that could include spiders, dragonflies, all sorts of stuff. Okay. And uh, for those that are slightly jumpy with spiders, I'm gonna, we already <laughs> forewarned the cameraman that I'm uh -oh. gonna pick this one up. And so we've got, Whoa. this is a, uh, a six spotted fishing spider Whoa. and they hang out. Yeah, they're really cool, really pretty. I don't know how well the patterning comes across oh, yeah, you guys in the yeah. uh, studio there. But uh, they hang out on the surface of these wetlands and they'll catch bugs and mosquito larvae, things that we don't really want coming out of the wetland as much. And um, they're a really cool spider. They can grab air and, and hunker down underwater if they need to. And so kind of helping people understand what's showing up around their yards, what not to be afraid of, uh, which is most of the nature we have around here. We don't have any dangerously venomous animals. Um, but then there's little things too that we find in the water. Like this is a baby dragonfly. And again, we just use little nets to scoop along the plants. They're eating little insects and huh. things in the water table. And so um, we've got these baby dragonflies, but once you're done netting in the ponds, maybe you wanna dry off a little bit and you can use one of our sweep nets here that we use in the meadows. And these stay dry, they're really good for butterflies and dragonflies and things like that, big grasshoppers. Mm -hmm. And so I did bring some dragonflies in and if something does fly off, they usually go to the window. So I'll get them later right. for those that are <laughs> okay. going to see them move a little bit here. Well, while you're, while you're getting, getting those guys, we're going to show the info about the uh, backyard bash on our full screen here, uh, which is over at uh, Watershed yeah, Stewardship Center, great. West Creek Reservation this Saturday from 10 to 4. Go ahead. Yeah, at West Creek Reservation, incredible spot. And we're really showcasing a lot of our open meadow areas during this event. But when you're here, feel free to take a hike up to the Skyline Overlook or check out some of the mountain bike trails and things that are open. You know, we're 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. every day. This is a little dragonfly that we netted yesterday while the sun Aww. was still out. Um, but this is what those babies turn into. And uh, they eat all sorts of insects that might bite us in the evenings. They're flying around during the day consuming. And so yeah. we don't really have much of an issue with mosquitoes because of them. It's been nice. And that's there it goes. incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. And that kids are so fascinated, as you mentioned too, Jake, that all the things that they do, like even the, what, what they're eating, right. how they're keeping down on some of these bugs. It really is fascinating. We know kids are going to love it. And it's all free happening this weekend. Kind of get them into learning right before they have to officially start learning with school. Thanks so much. Appreciate exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, and All one more thing what, before what we go, if you have guy? a second, we're going to okay. be having a, a native plant sale. Oh. And so you will be able to buy from local nurseries. And so these are some of the plants that naturalists we cut out of our backyards. So you can right. see what you can plant, create beautiful bouquets and all that stuff. Our natural resources division will be showing off. When's that coming up? 
This is Saturday, uh, 10 to 4 at the Watershed at, Stewardship at the, Center. Okay, at the oh, Reservation. Nice. Wonderful. That's great. Yeah. That's great. They also got some great programs going on this week uh, at some of their places. They got the Infant Explorers, the Rocky River Reservation, have students explore a bug hunt on Thursday. So always great stuff happening at the Cleveland Metro Parks.